Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I actually, I tried. I actually tried today. <laughs> um, my name is Caitlin, for those of you who are new here, and I am Nerd Ella Mode. And I am feeling so proud of myself and so proud of this makeup look right now. It's ridiculous. And people are gonna be like, you suck. I'm gonna be like, rude. So today we are going to be focusing on the e.l.f. J. Kissa collab. I have the eyeshadow palette, I have the mascara, I have the blue eyeliner. I've obviously used all of these things already. I used them to create this look. I also featured almost all e.l.f. products on my face. I used the Jewel Pop palette, a couple shades in that. Um, I think the only three items I didn't use were my powder, my eyebrows, um, my eyebrow pencil and my brow gel. Everything else is e.l.f., which I'm super excited about, super happy about. I've been wanting to do a video like this for a while. Um, if you like these types of videos, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe so that you are notified every single time I post a makeup related video. And of course, if you like this, then leave a comment down below. Let me know what other products you want to see. And I am so excited. I'm going to be going into all of the names and the shades and the, the reasons behind them for these two products are just called eyeliner and mascara. But this Jess really poured her heart and soul into this whole collection. But this has specific names. Um, in case you have not seen the palette yet, it looks like this. It's stunning. The mirror is great. I used it for pretty much all the, the whole tutorial and um, also, just so you know, you're about to go in, I'm gonna have no makeup on, I'm gonna have a different, like, different necklaces, different shirt, different hair. <laughs> I, look, I look so normal, and then I change at the end and transform to this beautiful J. Kissa inspired butterfly. I was about to say vampire. I'm not a vampire. <laughs> anyway, um, I do have a giveaway in this video. Look, I'm a totally new YouTuber. It's great. Um, no, actually, when I placed my e.l.f. order, e.l.f. was, um, kind enough to uh, put in an extra few goodies. They do it with everyone. It's not PR. It's not for me. <laughs> um, but I actually, actually already have these items, so I wanted to share them with one of you out there. Um, I got sent the Baked Blush in Pinktastic, which I already have, and I can swatch for you. Here is mine. It is very well used and well loved, and I absolutely love this. So I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it's really beautiful. Um, I think that the highlight, it, it, it's not a blush, it is a highlight, but I think that it works for so many different skin tones. I absolutely love it. Um, the other thing I have is the e.l.f. Beautifully Bare Smooth Matte Eyeshadow in Nude Linen. I love these. They are outstanding as bases. I love them. And then I'm also going to throw in a little sample of the e.l.f. Hello Hydration Face Cream because I have used this. It doesn't necessarily work for my skin, but that's also because I'm very oily. So maybe one of you dry ladies out there will like this. It didn't break me out at all. It doesn't smell weird or funny. It's a really good product. It just... Um, gave me too much hydration. <laughs> so I am going to be giving away these three, well two and a sample products today in today's video. All you have to do is give this video a like, put a comment in the comments down below of your favorite e.l.f. product or if you've never tried e.l.f. just say I've never tried e.l.f. I'd love to try it and I should be able to send these out to you guys. I'm so excited. Oh also you have to be subscribed. So today, I don't know what I want to do as far as, uh, like, this collection goes. I really don't know what to do. As we've already talked about, I have the J. Kissa collection. I already said this in the intro. Old news, Caitlin. Um, also, I will say, I'm going to give Elf a huge, huge huge shout out right now for the longest time um i elf used to send stuff in like these massive massive boxes and they would have just like 
one or two things like basically everything would come like wrapped in bubble wrap in like plastic bags and uh, um and it would just be like rattling around in the box and this box was different it was like a sleek box cardboard super heavy duty cardboard and it like folded down on both the sides It like folded down on both the both the sides and then folded on the other sides as well and then it was like sealed. Stop Jude! So everything was packaged really really tightly and nicely in there. Nothing broke, nothing shifted around. When I was like shaking it there was like no movement at all and I was like anything in this box I mean it was heavy so I knew but so here is the palette with the little flash designs on it you can see them reflecting in the light so oh I dropped the brush I'm such a noob so we have the little brush which is so soft um I'm so excited about this so the only thing I don't like about this palette is that this doesn't flip flat. That's my only, my only critique, Jess, is that this does not flip flat. But this is a, a fantastic mirror. And I love the fact that she did something colorful. I love the fact that she did something that is a little bit out of the ordinary and just brought these incredibly beautiful and unique colors to like mainstream makeup because you always see you know, Strobe Cosmetics, um, JD Glow. So I love that she brought these colors to like mainstream makeup. I find that a lot of people, you know, were, and, and this is, I don't want to go and I don't want to sound like mean or hateful or like I'm, you know, throwing shade or anything like that. But, you know, everybody saw the ABH Riviera palette and they were like, oh my gosh, it's so colorful. And it had like, very very few pops of color like this is an entire palette of like unique beautiful intensely pigmented shades and like this is what i want in a palette i don't want to go and i don't want to buy like another neutrals palette i have neutrals palettes i want to buy something that is unique i want to spend my money i want to spend my money on something that I'm going to get use out of because it's colorful but also versatile. This would be great for traveling. I'm in love. I also got the e.l.f. Jekissa Mascara. This is, I don't think that there's a shade, it says 85801, so I don't know if that's a, the shade name. Nope, that's just like a product number I guess. Um, so once I start going into the shades, um, there's the packaging. I'll actually like, yeah, this just says brown on it. And it says mascara, elf J Kissa, and it has the little flash designs all over. Super adorable, really loving it. And I got the um, retractable gel eyeliner. I love that she did a blue, very J Kissa. Um, this just says eyeliner on it. It does have a pencil sharpener on one side and then the eyeliner that is retractable. So I thought that was really amazing. I'm really excited to swatch that color. Um, and then as far as, um, I did buy one other thing. I bought the Mad For Matte Eyeshadow Palette Jewel Pop. Um, and J. Kissa actually did a collaboration of sorts with e.l.f. before and basically if you bought this you could, um, some of the proceeds would go to um, Pitbulls LA or LA Pitbulls or something like that, which I believe is where she got Zuma, um, I think. And she just showcased this palette and it was so beautiful. Again, I want to buy something that is unique and not just another, um, not just any, another, um, like neutrals palette. I mean, look at that. Looks like this when you have it. 
upwards. Um, I am so excited. I might incorporate some of these shades into the routine. And then with my purchase, I also got this e.l.f. Beautifully Bare Satin Lipstick and Touch of Nude. And um, I actually really like the Beautifully Bare line. I think it's really good for girls who are starting out with makeup or women who don't really like to wear a lot of makeup. Um, but you kind of want to get into it or you just want to look, again, very natural. So I'm very excited for that. I'll probably use that today because my eyes are going to be so bold. But I am a fan of like a bold a bold eye and a bold lip. I am trying to use as many e.l.f. products in this video as possible, so fingers crossed with that. Let's finally get into this. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. That was, that was a lot. That was a lot. Okay. I am going to try and use all of these shades, which I have never done. Is this like one of those challenges, like use all the eyeshadows in one palette challenge? Um, I'm going to do my eyes first. I am going to prime them with my concealer like I always do and I'm going to set them with my foundation powder. So this is the e.l.f. Maximum Coverage Concealer in porcelain. It comes in a little squeezy tube and I'm going to use the back of one of my other e.l.f. palettes as a um, thing. I'm using a Real Technique sponge. Foundation powder. I'm gonna go in with BFF, which is this. This was named after her best friends. And I'm probably gonna use this mirror. Hopefully that's not blocking anything. I'm going to just lightly take this in the crease. These shadows, from what I've seen of other people's reviews, are very pigmented, so use caution. So I'm just going to lay that down first, and then I'm going to go in with circular motions just to really blend that out. Okay, so I think I want to do Sway, which is this one in the inner corner. So I'm going to get a packing brush. This is the Morphe R42. I'm going to take this dry at first. I'm really going to pack it into the brush. And then if I need to go in wet, I will. I want this on the inner corner and like the inner third of my eye and underneath my eye. Okay. You know what? I'm going to zoom you guys in. Okay, so I'm trying out a new lens. I'm hoping so much that I'm in focus. I, hopefully you can see that I put that sway shade on my inner corner. And I'm going to layer it up and then I might still foil it up. Foil it up. Ugh. I think I'm going to put Danger, which is this one named after her mum and one of her friends, I think. Maybe her sister. And I'm going to use a brush of some kind. <laughs> there we go. Okay, um, I'm going to use a Japanesque 213 and I'm going to go in with Danger and I'm going to put that all over my lid. And then I plan on using my moon, which is the color that she named it after Suki, um, 
to deepen the outer corner and deepen the crease. And then I'm going to use mac and cheese and alien. Mac and cheese being like her favorite eyeshadow color. And alien, something that bullies used to call her. And then I'm going to take that same e.l.f. fluffy blending, blending brush and I'm going to go in with my moon and I'm going to deepen the outer corner and put that in the crease, just kind of melt those two shades together. I cannot tell you guys how many makeup tutorials that I have done and I just have not posted them because I always don't have the confidence and I just think that everything I do looks like crap. <laughs> I'm actually really, really liking the way that this is turning out. I am going to cheat a little bit and I'm going to go in with this cream shade in the Jewel Pop palette on that same e.l.f. brush. And I'm going to blend out my moon with it just to really make sure I'm getting a seamless, seamless blend on it. I don't want anything to be choppy or chunky. Okay, so the fallout has been cleaned up. Um, and... I'm ready to put on my face. So first I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. Just going to use one pump of that. I really like this primer. And now I'm going to go in with an e.l.f. foundation. This just says Oil Free SPF 15 Sunscreen in shade Light Ivory. This is a quite a thick foundation. In the frame, I should say. This is another foundation that I really like. Obviously it does have SPF in it, so I wouldn't wear it at night when there's going to be flash photography. But I do like it. So now I'm going to take that concealer. And I'm going to put it under my eye. My eyes. I have two of them. Let's zoom. Now, I don't have an e.l.f. Um, setting powder, so I'm just going to use this pixie one. This is the um, Color Correcting Foundation in number one cream. And I am going to be using two different brushes to do this. I am going to be using my e.l.f. brush that I used earlier, just underneath my eyes. This is a nice dense brush. This would probably be actually really good for cream, bronzer, and blush. It's nice and dense. It's got a good angle on it. And then I'm going to use my EXO Beauty powder brush just to set the rest of my face. And we are looking very, very flat and cake face right now. Um, I have this bronzer right here. This is the Light Matte Bronzer from e.l.f. Again, as you can see, it's quite deep. So I'm going to use this very sparingly on my Flower F01 brush. Just gonna go in with a very light hand. Kind of stipple it on, but also using some buffing motions. I really like this bronzer on me. I find that it lasts a really long time. And so this is the e.l.f. Twinkle Pink Blush. 
and it looks like this you can see it does have a little bit of shimmer in it but it's nothing like atrocious and it's um in my opinion it's kind of a bit of a dupe for luminoso I'm going to be using the Morphe E61 with the shade 23. 23 is J Kiss's number. She sees it everywhere, all around. This shade is stunning. Holy crap. I put too much on. That's okay. We're going to roll with it. Alrighty then, that's absolutely stunning. Now I'm gonna take a pencil brush from BH Cosmetics. This is a number 13 brush. I'm really gonna hit the under side of my brow. Cool. I also think I might blend this on the bottom lash line once we get there. Um, and now let's do the brows. Um, actually, I'm gonna set my face. This is the e.l.f. Makeup Mix and Set. Thick Mist and Set. As you can hear, I'm almost out of mine. But I love this. This is probably one of my all-time favorite setting sprays. I do not have any e.l.f. brow products, so I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brown Pencil in Soft Brown and setting that with the BH Cosmetics Flawless Brow Gel in Dark Brown. The little brush that it came with, and I'm going to take 23, I'm going to put it right down here. And then I'm going to take this e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush and I'm going to take Alien. I'm really going to pack this onto the lower lash line. So nice and low as you can see. So we really see it, and I'm just going to really blend these together. Legacy. Um, I'm gonna use the blue in my waterline, of course. It's a matte blue. This is stunning. I'm in love. So the question of the day is, do you prefer tutorials that have lashes or no lashes? Like, are you an avid lash wearer? Or are you not? And do you find you watch people who do
wear lashes in their tutorials or people who don't or it's a mixture. Okay, so I changed for the outro as you can see. I am going to put on some freckles now and I think I might be able to use a variation of um, BFF, My Moon, and then maybe I'll go into the Jewel Pop palette and use like this kind of cool brown. We shall see. I'm going to be using my freckle brush, which is my e.l.f. 204. You can see it's super, super tiny. And take a little bit of my setting spray and spray it onto a palette, get the tip of my brush wet, and then Okay, so I'm going to line my lips with Natural Lip Liner from e.l.f. It has a blend and a line sign. I am going to be overlining my lips. add a little bit of shininess and more nudiness I'm gonna put on that lipstick it's very cool toned Thank mm -hmm. you.